Hey everyone, it's Wellens. We're checking out the demo of Indica. This is a story-driven game set in alternative Russia in the late 19th century, and we're playing as a nun. I don't think I've ever played as a nun before. Kind of a curious setting to begin with. Amputate it, you won't survive the afternoon. Our prison doctor, he told me the same thing. Word for word. You escaped from prison? A week ago. And he didn't do anything? Sadly, the only surgical equipment he had was a, was a rusty wash basin. Very funny. All right. Should be like that. Only like that. I'm, I'm also talking to God. To God. Great. Why were we both in the snow? You need to get up if you don't want to lose something else to frostbite. A nun and a prisoner? Oh. I'm not sure what the numbers at the top mean. What do you mean you talk to God? What? Oh, my arm. You've seen my arm, yes? It's been a week or more. I doubt it. And what does God have to do with this? Well, uh, let me explain. Ever since that night, everything, every event, it all happened as I was told it would. I I'm certain I was the only one who left that train alive. It's all going according to plan. Every fucking step is God's plan, do you understand? So taking me hostage was God's plan? I know what you oh. think. But remember the gospel. The father who gave his money to the prodigal son, not to the beloved one. The good one. To the bandit. He who'd been murdering and stealing but came back. He came back. Do you understand? I think the Lord is happier to see to see one repentant sinner than well, a hundred thousand righteous people. I don't know. I, I don't know about that. They don't even need repentance. Do, do, do you hear me? You know, he, he laid everything out before me. Spread out like a deck of cards. The past, the present, the future. Who? God, who else? I was lying there, about to die. And a sister, just like you, brought me some water in this mug. And I was drinking and I saw I saw ripples in the water. Little round waves. And heard a whisper. So I drank. And You heard God in a cup. <laughs> in a cup, yes. But that's that's not the point. I'll show you when we get there. Look, a water tower. That means the station is behind the windmill. The station? Why? We're doing fine. We've only got fuel for a couple of bursts. I won't be able to drag you around with no steam. Maybe we should go around. A nun and an officer? Who cares? With the telegraph poles. Officer? The cables are ripped out there. And the road. Doesn't look like it's been used lately. Did you hear the music in the back? It was kind of... It seemed to be kind of strange for this kind of scene. I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> it 
So this guy took me hostage. We're from the prison. He's an officer? Who the fuck would do this? It's as if they blocked the passage on purpose. The brake is rusted shut. I have to find something to get rid of the screw. God. Well, it looks like even though this guy kidnapped me, we're we're working together for now because it's so snowy here. We probably won't be able to make it out alive if we try to survive on our own. What is that stuff in the top corner? I have no idea. It's some kind of a, a score? A resource? The Life of St. John One day, Venerable John fell into a pit. He was a God-fearing and meek monk, so he remained in the pit with humility. On the third day, John doubted himself. Had he, out of cowardice, mistaken the Lord's test for his will? Should he sit at the bottom of the pit, in his own filth, or climb out of the darkness and into the light? John started to pray to God, and he immediately gave John a sign. A spruce branch leaned down into the pit. John grabbed the branch and climbed out of the pit. After realizing that, in his hubris, he had been tempted by the demons, John cried. What? Terrified, he jumped back into the pit and prayed for God's forgiveness. God forgave John and awarded him with numerous spiritual gifts. But why did he see the branch as the demon's temptations? How did he know that? Huh. Interesting. Hmm, so we're playing as a nun and there's, I think, religion is going to be a pretty big thing here. You can kind of tell already, the man apparently kidnapped me because God told him to. Oh, so we gained some kind of a knowledge for that? Did that number go down or up? Up? Up by 10? Light the candles. Pray. Yeah, that went up. No? Okay. Oh. Um. Alright. Yeah, this is a very... This person was probably pretty religious as well. Are these all paintings of Jesus? What was I supposed to find? A screwdriver or something? To help the dude? Something like that. Maybe there's something in that shed. Wait, hold on. Oh! Okay. I don't have a... I guess you can put it here for now so we can climb back up or something. That's fine. Nope. What about this one? This is the other side of that locked door. Okay, everything is locked. It's not exactly great. Can I just go back up? I can put this somewhere. I can move this by myself. Was there a... Oh no, I thought there might have been a prompt here. Must have been the door. Hmm... I guess I can bring the ladder somewhere, if that's a thing. Where else? Like a window I can climb up on. Oh! Fantastic. I've missed this smell. It wasn't even locked. It was barely locked. Whoa. Some heavy duty equipment here. Paraskiva Friday. Pavel Sergeyevich, Indica's father, called Paraskiva a saint for girls. Perhaps because girls use the icon for fortune telling, chanting, Paraskiva, Paraskiva, show the man I'll love forever. May the Lord have mercy. So Indica is the name of the girl we're playing.
Ooh. This is like what, my religious meter? Repentance 7, guilt 5. <laughs> Why would I want guilt? Repentance? Every time you get points, you get a chance to gain extra 35. Oh, so like a immediate gratification or delayed hedging my bets. Okay. Okay. They kind of look like years, so I'm kind of thinking, well, we're in the 19th century right now, so I guess they're not years. But we started at a- it's not zero. We started at a very arbitrary point, seemingly. Wrench. Indica could easily tell a 5mm wrench from a 40mm one just by looking at them. This one was somewhere in between. Huh. A wrench. We got the thing with the stuff. I don't think I can get into this house. Yeah, no amount of ladder is gonna save me here. But maybe... I can bring this... I could bring it back over there, yeah. But I could bring it here too, right? So? Found a wrench! Give it to me! Come in. Look at me. Nope. I will give it to you after I look at this house. <laughs> What? We're here anyway. Hey, I could probably take that axe and maybe try to kill him or something. No, I'm a nun. I can't have these kind of thoughts. What am I saying? Ooh. Whoa, what is this? What is this contraption? Heat? Some kind of a s scientific experiments? They're brewing something? Maybe. Huh, I don't know. Alternative Russia, 19th century? Well, it's alternative, so we can't really... You know, can't say anything based off real Russia, 19th century, but maybe this is a really religious place. At least this little village here. Every house has a... has some paintings and religious artifacts. The life of God-pleaser Bartholomew. Saint Bartholomew the Recluse was so mild and pious that even wild animals were not afraid of him. He fed birds, squirrels, and even snakes. Even a bear came around once in a while to snack on Bartholomew's wild strawberry jam. Once, there was an argument between him and the bear that they could not resolve with words. Angered, Bartholomew struck the bear with his axe. Seeing what he had done, Bartholomew fell to the ground and rolled around in his tears, begging God and the bear for forgiveness. A lot of stories about... guilt, forgiveness, that kind of thing. Is that Russian? That doesn't look Russian to me. I mean, I don't know Russian, but it doesn't look Russian. Am I just wrong? <laughs> Shame 4. Every time you get points, you get an extra 8. Every time you get points, you gain a chance to gain a 1.46 multiplier. Ooh, that could be quite... Grief. Shame. 8. Okay, so we picked up a book just now that was like 30 points. 1.46 of 30 points. That's 43 points, 44 points. But 13 points more. Extra 8 every time. But this is a chance. A chance to get a multiplier. This is more certain. I guess I'll go for the more certain one. Which is the same choice I made back here too. Sort of. But the 1.46 could really add up. It's all luck based though. This village is all... everyone's gone. Hmm. Is it because it's just unlivable here? It's too cold? I'm saying you should take the axe just in case. For self-defense and whatnot. Oh, this isn't... it's not a regular kind of cold though. It's like snowstorm level. Hey! He's got one arm and I'm making him do this. An officer, huh? 
Thought you were a prisoner. Oh! Whoa, no! Oh! Fuck! Lord have mercy. What's that? Just a dog. Calm down. We wanted them. Hurry up. We don't want to take the wrench with us? Ah. Uh. Quiet, quiet, little doggy. We won't hurt little? you. Are you crazy? Run. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay, okay. Kudets. What does that mean? You know, I, I would have already fucked you up with my bare hands if I wanted. Well, hand. Why would you do that? Why? I mean, why the fuck did you throw away the revolver? You know, it would have been useful. I mean, a girl. I would, I would never. Oh, shit. Tell me something. If you're God's chosen one, why didn't God heal you completely right away? That's a good question. Here's your answer. Here. Here. Kudets. 20th March. Temple of John of Damascus. Spasov. The only rational remedy from infertility, insobriety, infidelity, and other physical complications and afflictions of the soul. The cadets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Also, I guess cadets was a chapter heading. I don't understand. So God had enough power only to stop the rotting. Her hand. But to heal you completely, he needed some kind of tool. You see her hand? Look, it's not. It's, it's not about the tool. A man can't be saved against his will, you see. Basically, look, yeah, it has nothing to do with my arm. It's about the path, the path we've been given. And whether to follow it or not, it's up to us. And what do I have to do with it? So... Possessed people are taken to the Kadyats. Everybody is. Do I look possessed to you? No, not you. All right, let's get out of here. Hoist me up. Me hoist you up? <laughs> yes, you. You won't be able to pull me up from up there. Ilya? Are you alive? No, he's dead. Ilya! Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? I think I'm just gonna have to figure this out on my own. Did you see her hands earlier, though? The... The hand where there was the beads or whatever? It seemed like it was pretty injured for a second. I could be wrong. Oh. I, I can't see where I'm going at all. Like, I see there's a... Am I supposed to be able to go over there? Hey, buddy, are you gonna help me out or... Oh! Oh, and then I can probably climb up by myself. If I... Do you wanna like... Oh, you wanna go up this way! I thought you were gonna push it over there. Of 
course it wasn't a coincidence, and now Indica realized it too. She had heard about the Kulyets and its miracles, but right now, in Spasov and Ilya, meeting a prisoner who talks to God would not be an everyday occurrence. He is a prisoner. Also, Indica took a liking to him. Who, this one? No. One uh, way or another, there was certainly no doubt that she had to head for Spasov and not the Danilov Monastery. The letter. I cannot neglect my duty. What if there's something important in it? Open it. See for yourself. No. Reading someone else's letter is a greater sin than not delivering it. Greater? How much greater? Twice as much. I don't know. Interesting. So, not delivering two letters is the same as reading one. What about stealing? Pocketing a ruble, for example. Is that worse? Worse. How much worse? This is nonsense. You can't compare such things. Why not? The priest imposes a different penance for different sins. And since you know for sure which is better or worse, there has to be a way of measuring. Then let us say that stealing is ten times worse than not delivering a letter. What about murder? Let us put that at a thousand letters. That would mean that if a postman were to lose a sack full of letters, we'd have a murderer. Hmm. Although, maybe there should be a bulk discount. <laughs> what about a rapist? A rapist is better than a murderer, right? That is an interesting, um, I guess, thought simulation e exercise. Although, is it that simple? Oh, it's open now. You are not scared of the sin. You are scared of the letter. Perhaps you should not open it. Do not do it. There was some stuff on the store page I didn't read out loud. I think it'll be relevant to know now. Best knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Defrocked? Huh? How did that happen? <laughs> Even if the Kia wasn't up to take on and knocked her up, but you! <laughs> First, you got pushed out of your house, and then out of the forest! <laughs> and if, by chance, you were to kill someone and go. Oh, I prayed for one second. If I let go. Mmm, okay. I have to keep praying. I can't stop. If I stop, it'll come back again. Everything turned out just as- Okay, so what I didn't read on the store page when we first started was that they said this is the story of a young nun's journey of self-discovery mm, to do with religious visions clashing with harsh reality and also we have a companion by our side, the devil. So we're kind of hearing the devil's voice in us, although judging by this conversation, I wonder if it really is a devil or something more human. It's just human tendencies to have these kind of thoughts, right? I, I mean, I personally believe you can think whatever you want, but it's what you do that decides what kind of person you are. It's not a crime to think sinful things. Although Indica, <laughs> she did read the letter just now, so I guess that was a that was a sin. And the devil was all like, "Hey, how many how many letters are you gonna read until it turns you into a murderer?" Because you can quantify things like that, right? <laughs> Best knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Are we trying to use this mechanic to solve a puzzle? 
So I'm praying the entire time right now while we're walking around. But if I... If I let go in a specific place, would that be a good idea? Because I can't get up, I don't think. If you were to kill someone and go to jail sooner or later, you'd get pushed out of there as well. Oh! Send another postcard for Easter. Here we go. <laughs> and it will get returned. So where now? Huh? Huh? So many of Another postcard for Easter. <laughs> and it will get returned. Oh. Sorry, she's not here anymore. Here we go. Third floor. This thing breaks apart. Here we go. Okay, our sanity, our sanity is intact. Oh, hey. Where's the dog? Good question. I haven't heard it for a while. Listen, I'll help you get to Spasov. Okay. Should we go? Somehow, Indica was convinced that the Kudets was going to solve all of her problems. That soon the voice in her head would disappear, and she would return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. The Unburnt Savior. One more proof of the miraculous power of God's grace. The fire has destroyed everything in the house, but the icon of the Savior was left unscathed. We see these things, we gain points because it increases our conviction in our religion. This is Denisovka, the paint factory. Martha told me about it. She, she's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. Where is everyone? There was an explosion. They say everyone was evacuated in one day. Americans, I guess. Very <laughs> likely. What? <laughs> All the English. Americans. So for the record, I do not have DLSS on right now. Maybe that's why we're getting some jitters here and there. Okay. We we somehow escaped the dog and now we're just trying to figure out how to get to where we want to be. Except everywhere, everything looks the same. This place is burnt down. Yeah, there was an explosion here, Indica said. Any newspaper we can read? Don't think we want to go down there. This is the beginning then, right? Nothing around here. Either we find a religious item, or we just get out of here. How's that sound? Well, I'm so lost. This place is easy to... Can we go in this house? Yes. Praying everywhere we go. Praying the devil away. I think that's what she's hoping for right now. Pan... Panhagia. St. Christopher hails from a wild... Mamarsise tribe. Its wolf-headed people were extremely tall and often exhibited terrifying behavior. This, however, did not prevent him from preaching the Christian faith, accepting the baptism, and dying like a martyr. Do I inherently know these things because I'm so well-learned as a nun? Maybe. Sorry, I just got off to a, a religious sidetrack, which I'm sure you, you would be okay with because you think you're God's chosen one and all that. Is 
this place. The life of Saint Metropolitan Sinust. Once a demon possessed the hair of Saint Metropolitan Sinust. His hair began to stand up like twigs on a broom when it was least expected. During his services, Sinust's Mitra would jump up, scaring his parish. No matter how much he prayed, the demon would not let him go. One day, Sinus made two holes in his mitra and tied it to his head with a string so tight that when he started the liturgy, instead of raising the mitra, I don't know what these words are by the way, his hair burrowed into his head. Since then, Sinus became meek and short-spoken, and the demon had to look for another host. This is how God taught the demon a lesson. Boom. That's another level up already. Humility 4, Regret 4. 4? Oh, ah, uh, you know what? It's probably because the demo doesn't start at the beginning. This is level 9. We're in the middle of the story. That's why we're kind of like, oh, what's going on here? We don't really know. Get a chance to gain 60 points right now. Or every time you get points, you get a 1.21 multiplier. I like steady things. I don't like chance. Chance is... Mm, this 1.21 is not that great, but this is a for sure, for sure multiplier. I guess you can tell I'm a more risk-adverse kind of person. Wonder if we'll get to the end of the, the, the last level here. Within the scope of this demo. 110 points more. Maybe I played it too safe though. Yeah, you need a little bit of luck to get that full conviction, I guess. <laughs> if it even is something we want, I'm not sure. That's the whole point of discovering ourselves, right? We're trying to figure out what we want and don't want. Did we miss any houses back here? Just have a quick glance. Oh no, we were there already? I believe. Yeah, yeah, this is... We looked through the rubble, kind of. What about down here? Oh? Why don't you reward me? I was like, yes, I found the secret spot. <laughs> and they don't give me anything. Okay, fine, be that way. Be that way. Oh, it's getting quite cold. We're not exactly well-dressed right now. Maybe we should go. Is that a person? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. We got a nun and a guy with one arm. <laughs> We're not gonna last long. So where do we go now? Stairs! There should be a station behind the windmill. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Maybe don't run? Um... Is this actually sinking? They won't let me climb up here, even though the marking seems to imply that I can. Really? Boost? I can't go up. Oh, oh, the the iceberg tips over. Oh wow, that's. Wrong uh, way. I won't make it. Hold on. We'll think of something. I got you. I got you. <gasps> exactly what we need. You're welcome. Now I don't think we could have done anything on this side? Could we have? No. Go that side. We're gonna make that guy balance on the plank. He's got one arm. Balance ain't exactly a strong point for him right now. He's coughing a lot too. He's not doing hot. Better not. What's that? 
Oh, wow, okay. Oh! Dumb bitch. <laughs> Why are you standing around? How long can dogs stay underwater, huh? I don't know. I'd wait for a couple of hours, just to be sure. I love the, the monotone way he delivered that. <laughs> oh, can I not read that? You're not gonna read it for me? Okay. broken. We'll have to go through the mill. Oh. I thought that was the right way to go. Anything up here anyway? Come on, throw me a bone. Give me give me some goods. If not, fine. I'll, can I drop down here? No. That's fine. Just confirming for myself. Oh, uh, don't look at that. That's probably stinky. We have to go down. Hey. How beautiful. We, we had this one artist in the clink. He drew his family on the wall with his own shit. Oh, great. He looks so lifelike. What? He was like that. Didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. He got stabbed. Because of the stench? No. He, he was drawing on the wall outside. It, it was minus 30 degrees. Shit doesn't really stink when it's cold. Oh, hmm. He got stabbed b because, well, it's against the code. He's drawing the walls with poop? I thought he couldn't finish the drawing because he didn't have enough poop. What code? So where do we go now? The elevator. Here's the gearing. Planetary gear set. By, by blocking one of the wheels, you can change the direction of the shaft rotation. You're a very learned nun, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Not here? It doesn't fucking work. Nothing works here right now. He's not gonna help us. Well, in his defense, he can't. I guess we should look for an intact cotter. I see. Broken cotter. Inserting this into the groove between two mechanical parts ensures torque transmission. Except this one's broken. We can't put anything inside, but we're looking for that kind of thing, like a um, cylindrical thing. Can climb up on it. Oh! Hold up, then. Over here. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing all the work here. Shut up. Cotter. Oh! Wait, there was a whole bunch of. This one's broken. Oh, they're all different shaped. But we can't take- can we take all of them? Or do we just take the one? No, it's telling me that the circle is the right one. It won't let me take the other ones. Okay. It's a cotter. A safeguard. It breaks when there's an overload. To protect the important parts of the engine. I see. <laughs> Yeah, no thanks to you. Go down. Oh, I can control him, I see. Ilya. Ilya and Indica. I can't go down. Something's in the way. What? Oh. What the heck? There was a thing just stuck there. Is this okay? Can I Oh. It's like an elaborate puzzle set. Oh, did I just go down? Wait, where am I supposed to be? Can I not go back up? Huh. 
Where did I come from again? Here. Okay. Alright, well, if you can't come down, can I go up? Could that be a thing? Not sure if this is tall enough, though. Well, the sensitivity is really high when you're pushing this thing for some reason. Uh, I don't think we're... That's a little high. Going up. Huh. <laughs> this seems very dangerous. I don't know about this. You, you might get crushed at the top. Go down. Going down. We'll have to be careful. Up. Going up. Down. Going down. Okay, I, I was just scared of getting crushed, but we're fine, I think. Oh, thank goodness. What were you controlling? The lever? Alright. What are we doing here? Nothing. Nothing on this side. Okay. That's our exit. So you're suggesting walking that plank? Are you afraid of heights? No. No. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Told you we should have gone around. Ever been to the circus? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as a spectator, not as a performer. You're pretty adventurous for a nun. What the hell? Oh my god, okay. I'm not looking back. What? what? Damn. Was that even like a regular dog or is that a monster dog? Why is it so into us? Okay. Go. Nope. You're here? Oh god! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, what about the guy? What the hell? Oh shit! Oh! What an undignified death. We had to keep going up. Oh, jeez! not chasing you at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't even know. <sighs> Wait, did I die? Oh. I killed it. I don't deserve it. It was bad. It was sinful. There are no sinners among dogs. Only humans can sin. Tempted by the devil. And that dog, its humans left, stopped feeding it. So it became a matter of survival. Interesting. So what's the difference between a human and a dog? The thing you're blaming the devil for is as likely to happen to a human as it is to a dog. It gets angry when its food is taken away. It's ready to tear anyone apart if its possessions are threatened. A dog gets sad if its beloved human is not around. It gets jealous, anxious, even sodomy as possible. What? Remember that one time when Georgie... That's different. Uh... We needed to survive. To 
find the most promising partner give birth to offspring. And a human? You have such a simple explanation for a dog. But how come humans can never do without divine or devilish intervention? Okay. This is just the demo, and that's the section we get to play. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm not quite sure what to make of this. This feels kind of bizarre right now. It probably doesn't help that the demo clearly started from the middle of the story and not the beginning, so we don't really have much context for what's going on. As far as I can tell, we are a nun, and maybe we worked near the prison? Or maybe the prison has a church nearby, something like that. And one of the prisoners at the prison escaped. How they did it was by taking me hostage. And then something about me throwing away a revolver too. The 3D animations of the people and some of the cinematography I thought was pretty cool. Like the last shot we had there of the dog being hit by that wheel again and again as it turns. But there's also some other parts that I'm kind of left wondering about right now. Like this is a 3D game with photorealistic people. But the UI they went for is very... it's like pixel fonts. And the music sounds kind of chiptune y too. It gives the whole thing a very video game-y kind of feel, which feels like it's at odds with the whole photorealistic thing. Like usually you would see this kind of pixel fonts or chiptune music in 2D, flat, pixel art kind of games. I'm not gonna say it's bad outright, but I'm not sure what they're aiming for by doing that. Yeah, the section that I thought was the most interesting was probably when the devil's voice was in her head and then she had to pray it away, literally, and we were trying to solve a puzzle like that. But otherwise, mm, I'm not quite sure what to make of this whole thing. Some parts were cool, some parts were kind of like, I'm not sure what they're going for here. And the story overall, well, she's a nun, she's religious, and she's probably going to have her convictions challenged throughout. But yeah, overall, I'm not quite sure what to make of this so far. It's a little bit bizarre in some ways, but um, cautiously keeping an eye out. All right, this was the Indica demo. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I will see you all in another place in another time. Bye!